Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can load VST effects into FUBAR 2000, um, also known as FUBAR 2K. Uh, if you don't know, FUBAR is a uh, basically just a media player for Windows. Um, it's quite well known because it's uh, heavily used by uh, audio enthusiasts. Um, now there's there might be a lot of reasons why you would want to add a VST into FUBAR. Um, let's say you just have a uh, laptop with uh, pretty bad speakers. Um, you can add a EQ to sort of fine-tune the sound to uh, a uh, preferable level. Um, now it's quite easy to uh, do this. Uh, you'll need a plugin. Uh, if you didn't know, FUBAR has a lot of uh, third-party plugins. Um, so first of all, you'll have to download FUBAR 2000. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's pretty basic. Um, I can put a link in the description below so you can download it. And keep in mind that my foobar will look a little bit different than yours because I have um, customized the uh, GUI or the GUI. Um, so, but yeah, it, it should be basically the same. So if you click on the link below in the description, you'll be taken to my webpage and you'll have two links here. Uh, the first link is the link to the FUBAR plugin, so you can click on that and it will take us to the Hydrogen Audio Forum, which is uh, FUBAR's forum. And at the uh, bottom left here you can see FUVST0903. I'll just click on that and download it. Uh, you don't need to extract it and I'll tell you why, but first we're going to go back to my webpage. And um, just as a treat, I have uploaded some Shadows Audio VST plugins uh, that you can download for free. Uh, Shadows Audio was actually a great company producing really good plugins back in the days, but I think they, I don't, I don't think they exist anymore. So uh, there shouldn't really be a problem if I upload it. So just click on that and download the plugins. So now we'll have two files. Um, the first file, FooVST0903, is the plugin that we have to add to FooBar first. So if you go into File and Preferences again, the easiest way to add a third-party plugin to FooBar is basically just to drag and drop the zip file. So we're going to try and see if that works. We're going to drag it over here. And as you can see, it says Unknown, please apply to load. So what you'll have to do is to click apply and then it's going to ask you to restart FUBAR and that's okay. Actually first we can ex unextract the Shadows Audio VST that we downloaded. We'll just unextract that first. Just so we uh, have it ready. Uh, it's going to take a while because it's heavily compressed so... Okay, so there we go. We have unextracted the Shadows Audio VSTs folder. This is the folder that contains the actual VSTs that we want to load. So if we go into File and Preferences again, um, we're going to see that VST 2.4 adapter has been added. Okay, so what this means is that you will have a new tab here called VST Plugins. Just to remove the old one. Uh, which is going to contain the list of all the VSTs that you want to have inside uh, FUBAR. So we're going to try to add the uh, VST plugins that we downloaded, or we can just try with one actually. So let's see, we can try one of the EQs. And uh, keep in mind that we have to click apply and restart FUBAR again. So the million dollar question now is how can we bring up the actual VST window? Well first you'll have to go to File and Preferences again and now at the uh, play, Playback tab you can see we have a tab called DSP Manager. Click on that and you can see that we have the new GEQ7 added. Double click on it, that will add it to the active DSPs. And to bring up the VST window, we have to click Configure Selected. Aha, voila. As you can see, we have the window now. And we can just try to start a playback of a song. We'll just uh, do something really um, yeah, easy, acoustic 
basic track. So this is the unprocessed sound, the clean sound. And we can try and see if the plugin works by cutting off some of the high frequencies. Okay, so you can hear that the high frequencies are gone now. We can also try to cut off some of the low frequencies just to see if that uh, is a that is working. Okay, so there you have it. It works. You can just stop the uh, playback. Um, now you're probably really eager to uh, try this out, uh, but I have to warn you first that there are some some things you have to think about here. First of all, um, since Fubar is a 32-bit plugin, it's not going to work uh, with the 64-bit VST plugins. So no, unfortunately, you cannot use 64-bit plugins. Um, the other thing is that I don't really think it works with uh, VST3. It works with v VST1 or and uh, VST2, but not VST3. Um, so yeah, if you really have to use VST3 uh, or 64-bit plugins, I would just recommend you to use your uh, usual DAW or uh, like uh, Cubase or Ableton or something like that. So yeah, that's basically how you uh, add VSTs to FUBAR. I hope you learned something and uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye.